Hey guys, today we're in Photoshop. And um, I'll start off by saying that I am by no means a Photoshop guru, but I know enough to be dangerous. So I'm going to show you a little thing that I was doing this week that I thought was pretty cool. You might be able to uh, implement it in your sites or, you know, Christmas cards, something like that. What we're going to do is we're going to warp, uh, warp a picture into looking like it's uh, blowing in the wind or or something along those lines. So let's get started. First we need to uh, bring our file in. I'm just going to grab one that I was playing with. Kind of thought it fit the mood, a little Christmas theme. And we've got our, we've got our image here. Um, now by default, when you bring an image into Photoshop, it sets it as the background and you cannot edit it. You can see if I try, Photoshop does that annoying beep and I can't do anything with it. However, if you press the Alt key and double click on the layer, it will unlock it and bring it into layer zero. Now, as you can see, I can move it around and do what I want with it. So first step, unlock your layer so you can play with it. Next, we want to uh, increase the canvas behind the image uh, so we got some room to work with you can see so uh, just click you know click your layer and go up to let's see image canvas size we want to change this to percent on both and just go 150 that should give you enough uh, space to do what you want click the center so it pulls it from the relative center. Now you can see we've got canvas built around the picture. We'll zoom out a little bit so we can see what we've got going. All right, next step, we need to add a stroke to the image itself to make it look like a picture. So again, click your layer, go up to edit, stroke, and you know choose your width, whatever you want. I'm gonna stick with 30, that's the last thing I used, and make it white. Okay, location inside, blend mode normal, opacity 100. And as you can see, it adds a white border or stroke around the outside of the image. Now, here's where the cool part happens. Uh, the keyboard shortcut on this is Control T. That will bring up the Wharf tool. And up here, you will see the uh, free transform or, or uh, warp modes. If you click that, it'll pull a grid up on the image. Once the grid is up, you can actually just drag the photograph however you want. As you can see, I'm pulling it all the way across, up, I'll tell you what I'll do, we'll go here. Now that was the corner um, path that I grabbed. These handles out here will adjust the bend of what the image is going to look like. So, you know, you know play around with this, Tweak it however you want. If you grab the inside lines of the grid, it will actually stretch the image. It's kind of cool. And if you go with the outside bars, it'll actually grab the, the exterior. I'm just going to run through this real quick, guys, so for the sake of time. And if you don't like, if you get it how you how you think you want it, and you don't like it, um, well, first off, once you once you get it morphed how you want, just click Enter, <clears throat> and it's going to uh, leave it in that state. If you don't like it, uh, Control Alt Z is a step back shortcut, and it will you know just continually click that, and it'll take you back to uh, the original image itself. So we've got our we've got our morphed image here. Now let's um, Let's go a little step further and uh, add a shadow to it. So go over to your layer, right click, duplicate layer. Call it whatever you want, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna call it one and, well, 13. Now, you want to <coughs> create a black fill on this. So highlight your layer and hit uh, Control Shift Backspace. Well, that made it white, because that's what I had, so we're just going to go over and make it black. Choose your black color as your foreground, choose your paint bucket, and fill it. All right, so now we've got black. Unfortunately, our shadow is on the top, and that's not cool. So just 
drag your layer down and make sure your first layer is on top and the image will be on top. So now just position your shadow however you want it. You can fine tune it with the keyboard, your arrow keys on your keyboard. All right, that's cool. Now, with your shadow layer highlighted, go up to opacity and set it to about 60. You might need to play with this number a little bit just to see what you're working with, but that'll give you a, a, a decent start. Then you want to go up to filter, blur, Gaussian blur. Now, just make sure your, your, um, your shadow layer is highlighted while you're doing this. Uh, the preview box is on, you know, just uh, drag your pixels up and down and play with it till you, uh, till you get the look you're, that you want. That looks pretty good. Now, click OK. Now, as you can see, uh, we actually have two separate layers now. So if you will go over to your layers panel, um, hold control and highlight both, and then hit control G that will group them. Now it's all one layer and you can drag resize you know whatever you need to do as far as that goes. Um, you can take it a step further if you'd like add some uh, brush strokes highlights to make it dark make it look more three-dimensional things like that. Um, that's completely up to you but uh, there you go guys that's how you warp an image in Photoshop. We'll see you next lesson.